Bulking season is upon us, guys. And if you're like the millions of people out there eating, 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 you can't gain weight for the life of you. I'm gonna show you exactly what to eat, all six meals right here. Before we get started and break down the meals, I wanna let you guys know whether you're bulking, shredding, looking to get big, looking to lose fat, I have a 100% free book that I wrote and I want you guys to download it now. All you have to do is text Sadiq to 81787. All you skinny guys out there, take notes. Hard gainers, you better take notes. This is how your off-season diet should look like. Lots of carbs, lots of protein, and just a whole lot of volume of food. My favorite meal of the day is definitely breakfast. So what we're having here is high fat, high protein, high carbohydrates. We have four whole eggs with two egg whites scrambled together, and we have four packets of grits, which is a lot. This meal alone, you should be feeling pretty full. So make sure you get up early, start your day early, so you can squeeze in all these six meals. Meal number two is my pre-workout meal. So what this is, half a box of your favorite pasta with six ounces of ground beef, high in fat, high in protein, and we have some tomato sauce. The reason tomato sauce is there, you can opt out for it, but I like to be very generous with the sauces and the condiments so we can get the quantity of food down. So after this meal, I love to work out. So I usually like to have two meals in my belly before I train. And my post-workout meal is actually eaten immediately after I train, okay? I don't wait till I get home. I don't wait till after my cardio session. After I train, I go straight for the bagel and jelly. So the theory behind this is that it's just simple carbohydrates, simple sugars, and just for the hard gainers, you need to replenish yourself as soon as you're done training. So you need to feed that muscle or you're gonna lose the muscle. Let's go on to meal four, five, and six. They're very similar in nature, whereas we both have rice, and the king of bodybuilding food is chicken and rice. So we have no exception here. All we did was add some avocado, so we have a cup and a half of jasmine rice, which is the best rice you can eat because it's got so much protein content. Six ounces of chicken breast and half of avocado. Meal number five, we have six ounces of ground turkey with one tablespoon of coconut oil. Can you open this for me? And one and a half cups of jasmine rice and about half a cup of broccoli. So this is the only meal I have veggies in. I don't really have digestion problems, but feel free to add veggies to um, meal four, five, and six if needed, if you guys have a hard time going to the bathroom. Last but certainly not least is my protein shake. By the time I get to the shake, I'm so tired of chewing and I'm so tired of eating that it just feels good to blend something together. So I have half a cup of oatmeal blended with 50 grams of my favorite whey protein, and I even threw in some cookies over there. There's no science behind the cookies other than the fact that it's just a simple sugar, help get that protein shuttled into the muscle before bed, and add some calories. That is my infamous bulking diet. That's how I put on all my mass, all my size. But remember one thing, you guys have to push yourself in the gym. You have to train heavy and you have to be consistent. Otherwise, this means nothing. 
So if you guys love the video or if you have ideas about other videos, especially nutrition related, drop me a comment below. If you didn't like and subscribe, make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. It helps us out so much. Peace out.